All right, welcome back to Crypto Front. This is the front line where we are fighting together side by side for financial freedom. We are going to be taking a look at XRP, one of the most hated, actually, if it is not the most hated coin out there. But why is it hated? The reasons actually non-existent. People just say, you know, it doesn't move this and that in the last bull cycle. It didn't do well. Well, don't you know that in the last bull cycle, there was a significant lawsuit which was hanging above the life of xrp will it could have destroyed the whole thing totally now in this video i'm going to be showing you the opportunity that xrp is presenting right at this point so we'll start with the daily time frame as you can see we have something that is very very nice here which is a schematic wake of accumulation pattern and usually these things turn out just to be really really great so we are coming to the conclusion of that as you can see here we're just fighting probably one of the last resistances before this whole thing really takes off there are of course so many other reasons why i think this thing is going to be bullish at the end of the day i'm going to be showing you those in a second but before we continue i want to kindly ask you to help me support the video just by delicately tapping the like button it really helps the youtube algorithm and people looking for xrp updates will not be able to find this video much more easily if you're new to the channel please subscribe because i do ta on xrp and a number of other different outcomes on a regular basis i don't want to run my mouth too much so let me show you here one of the reasons why this thing is actually going to blow so this is the bitcoin price and of course you're wondering like okay what does bitcoin have to do with xrp really if you have been in this market for a few seconds you have to understand that the market is moved by bitcoin right once bitcoin is safe is doing its thing the rest are sure that xrp is also going to be pumping bigly of course in the last bull cycle really xrp didn't pump that much the reasons for that i've already mentioned but i want you to take a look at this right when bitcoin is breaking its previous all-time high and you see a candle like this which is called a god candle the reason why it's called a god candle is because it makes you believe in crypto right funny joke right there anyway the thing is even the last time when we broke the previous all-time high in the 2021 bull cycle, take a look at this. What ensued was really something crazy. Weeks and weeks and weeks of consistent green price action. Take a look at this. How many candles is this? One, two, three, four. Four straight weeks. This is a month of total, I mean, annihilation of the bears, right? 100%. Even if you go back to the last bull cycle here, which is right around 2015, right? 2017. And you can see that, once, I mean, once you're just breaking this uh, previous all-time high in a very convincing fashion you see what happens here one two three four five six seven eight eight straight weeks of upward price section this is the kind of price section that we are looking to get in the moment that we are right now at this point with bitcoin i mean you can go back as far as even this mini cycle back then in 2018 and uh, even yeah, i mean the other cycles basically this was price discovery so Bitcoin is in safe hands it's looking really really good how does that relate to xrp i've already told you that xrp just moves really well if bitcoin is doing well so coming back to xrp how really is this going to be important what you have here is the bitcoin chart on top then of course i also have put this xrp chart down below and i want you to notice that the dynamics of the 2015 2016 2017 bull cycle is really being represented again this time around but a little bit different right this is taking a little bit longer really nothing has fundamentally changed take a look at this for xrp you have got a rally then you crash you have into a mini rally again you have some kind of reaccumulation then you pump out of that very much strongly right look at what we are doing right at this point we had a pump right we have crashed we have kind of recovered and then new accumulation here what is expected is obviously something like this a push towards the upside we'll talk about price i guess later on but now on top of that take a look at what the bitcoin price was doing back then right so this is the bitcoin price on top now in this situation here of course you hear people saying that you know icp sorry xrp you see bitcoin here was pushing towards the upside but take a look at what xrp was doing really going towards the downside bitcoin even set a new all-time high when xrp was probably on one of its lowest levels right you need to understand this but but here's the most important information right once bitcoin was significantly setting a new all-time high and doing so convincingly take a look at what happened to xrp it's just short and the initial peak of the xrp price came in right around 60 days i mean 65 days or something like that so this is how fast those things can develop and uh, we were also seeing almost the same thing here in 2021 although this was a different situation because of the lawsuit but still what we were seeing here is that when btc was breaking into previous all-time high you take a look at this here and what you see here within a space of right around 120 days 112 days basically we were seeing xrp finding its top of the bull cycle so that's really great information coming back to where we are and this i think is one of my most important messages of this video bitcoin has done that magic again of breaking into a new all-time high and if history is going to be any indication of the future within 60 days to a maximum of 120 days we're going to be seeing the xrp price finding its peak let me repeat that one more time i'm not saying that it's going to start running after 60 days or 120 days i'm actually saying that it will find its peak 
within 60 days, that's two months from now, or a maximum of four months from now, which is about around, what is that, March 2025. So this is where we are with the XRP price. I mean, this is exactly what the data is suggesting. No feelings or anything like that. Obviously, I want the price to be the pump, but still, I'm just behaving relative to what we have seen in the past, just indicating what the future could actually be holding. And again, I continue to hear people saying that XRP doesn't move. It's this and that and that and that. But I will tell you with almost a very high degree of certainty that in the last bull cycle, if this lawsuit wasn't filed right when XRP was ready to pounce, you would have actually seen higher than the previous all-time high. Let me show you this way. This was the moment when the lawsuit was filed and you saw XRP dropping very much, right? Meaning a lot of people sold their XRP and they never came back because they were like, this is really unsafe, right? It's very risky. But even in that situation, XRP found its bottom and continued to pump even more than something like a 10x, right? So if you take that fractal, like the pump after the lawsuit, right? This is what we're going to be taking. And then to its top, right? Now, let's pretend that the lawsuit had not happened. You see this move that XRP did? If you just go ahead and put it on top of when the lawsuit was filed, like right before the lawsuit was filed, take a look at this. You would definitely have had a new all-time high for XRP. That is right around something like $4 or even more. But you guys know the dynamics of this market, right? The moment you're breaking into a new all-time high, like you attract a lot of eyeballs and that can actually give you more and more juice to pump toward the upside. So if in this situation, we could have done something like $4, what are we expecting for this bull cycle, right? I'm going to get into that real quick. Before we get into price, I guess, let me just make sure that you hear this message from our partners over there at Bing X the Exchange. If you register with them, sign up with them, you can claim up to $5,450 and on top of that, 300 ton tokens. The event is going to be lasting 19 days from now so feel free to check the links in the description so that you can take advantage of this opportunity right let's get back to the price tickets that we were looking for here for xrp so i've been looking at this uh, symmetrical triangle for a very long time and i know that you know technical analysis 101 symmetrical triangle is a continuation pattern but you know what is the continuation to this thing right definitely it is to the upside because you know the trend has been upwards right for the last i don't know how many years now one other big thing that a lot of people don't mention about this symmetrical triangle is that it has been happening over seven years, seven freaking years. Please understand that the more you consolidate with the pattern, that's also the bigger you're going to be pumping from this whole thing. So from a technical analysis standpoint, you take the thickest part of this symmetrical triangle. And then when we have a breakout here, you're looking at a price target of something like, you know, $12, close to $18 there about. Yeah, you know, people are going to be saying, oh yeah, the market cap will be this and that, this and that. Okay, continue limiting your imaginations with the XRP price. I mean, that argument of, you know, the market cap would be this, this, so it's impossible to have been given for any cryptocurrency that we have right now. I mean, who would have said that Solana would be at $100 billion in terms of market cap? Who would have said Ethereum would be like right around $400 billion in terms of market cap? So, yeah. All right, limit yourself and uh, say that the market cap will be this and that. But still, I think that uh, something like a 15x from a, po a point of breakout here would be something that is great for XRP. That's around $12.50, $13.60 here. Now, $13.60 actually is coming from Fibonacci retracement tools, right? If you take your friends off the peak right around, tw I mean, 2018, towards the bottom here, you see that a full Fibonacci extension is right around $13.60. So that is the price target that can be realistic. We can also even try to lower expectations and only target like the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level, which is the golden ratio and we have seen that a lot of these altcoins come to this level so that's right around five dollars thirty five dollars forty still that is a great one not as big as something like eighteen dollars sixty but you know it's something like a seven x do i believe that xrp will only manage a seven x well i don't know we'll see we'll really see but i think it can do even much better than that so thank you so much for sticking around and watching the video towards the end if you could please like the video share it with your friends and family then of course just remember none of what i say is financial advice if you want feel free to join the patreon for short-term trades as well as general market guidance mind the link will also be in the description or the pinned comment i'll see you on the next one Bye bye